for those of you that have been reading me or know me for a while, you know that I suffer from panic attacks and depression and anxiety. It's like a fucked up version of Billy Madison. Xanax is better. I act fast and make Abby fall asleep. Zoloft is better. I have long term effects and I make her feel not so sad. Last year, I had what I jokingly refer to as my bell jar. My bell jar was a time where I went a little bit off the rails. It started last June. Um, I'd always been super anxious and I feel like a lot of my life I've sort of just breezed past things or not really felt the emotions of things that were happening at the time just sort of like powering through uh, for years <laughs> since I was like a kid. And um, in June of last year, I just started being unable to eat. I would shake really hard whenever I would try to eat. Um, I couldn't keep anything down. I was twitching. Um, my chest hurt. Some family members came and picked me up and I went back to their house and I spent about a week on their couch just losing my mind. It's like, feels like a different person. I basically was just mumbling nonsense, repeating phrases. I didn't change clothes. I couldn't eat, couldn't sleep. Speaking other languages that I speak. And um, just generally not making any sense. I don't remember a lot of it. Right before it happened, I was super happy. I was fine. There was nothing wrong. Not really. I felt okay. Overnight, I just like crumbled. Every emotion that I had kept in decided to come out just one day. It lasted for a summer. Then in November, my parents intervened. I had fallen asleep in the shower, I think. I was just crying all the time. I, cu I couldn't do anything. I woke up and my dad had flown to New York and he was sort of picking up the pieces and I, I couldn't make sentences. Like I couldn't, my brain just wasn't functioning. And he brought me home. Let's say I was quarantined. Today, almost a year later, I didn't want to make a video because I've been depressed. You think that if you start doing all the right things, it'll go away and you'll be healed, right? The way that you get better from like a scrape or something, but um, it doesn't really go away in my experience. It's always kind of there. I get mad at myself because I'm not healed or fixed. After everything that happened, like to still get little depressive bouts where I'm under my covers is like pretty disheartening which causes more depression. Do you guys see where I'm going with this? So, here's a video. Not very uplifting. Call it a bell jar. Try to not make light of it, but soldier on. I don't know. This is what it looks like in the bell jar, by the way. There's just a lot of this. Come inside. Welcome to depression.